The mobile software industry is a chaotic one. Quick rollouts along with succeeding maintenance works keeps the schedule tight and the mind working. Amidst this chaos, Appium, a mobile application automation testing tool, provides the opportunity to orchestrate this chaos in a more efficient manner. Hi guys, my name is Arya, and in this What is Appium video, we will be taking a deeper look into the tool that has gained so much attention in the mobile application testing industry. So the following topics are going to be covered in this video. The first topic that we are going to hit is what is Appium and I will be giving you guys a very brief and general introduction to the tool and what it does. After that we will be looking into the reasons why you should choose Appium over other testing tools that are available in the market today. Above that I'll also be explaining in a brief and very simplistic manner as to how Appium works. After that we will be also discussing the various dependencies that you might need to actually install Appium on your system. Now before we continue with the video, please don't forget to subscribe to Edureka's YouTube channel to stay updated on modern tech and trends presented to you by state of the art content creators. Okay, so now let's move on with our first topic of the day and that is what is Appium. So Appium is an open source cross platform automation testing tool. It is used for automating test cases for native hybrid and web applications. The tool has a major focus on both Android and iOS apps and was only restricted to the mobile application testing domain. Recently, a few updates back, Appium also announced that they will support the testing of desktop applications for Windows. Now Appium is developed and maintained by Sauce Labs. Currently, Appium version 1.12 is being distributed and Appium first started off as a command line based testing service that can be installed using Node.js. In their latest release named Appium Desktop, they have released a robust and refined tool with an intuitive graphical user interface. Appium Desktop comes with a very intuitive application element inspector, which lets you inspect elements of your application in a much more efficient manner. Now, if you guys would like to learn about this inspector, you can go ahead and look at my Appium tutorial and I'll link to that video in the description below. Okay, so that was a very generous and very brief introduction to Appium. Now let's go over and see why you should choose Appium over other tools that are available in the market. Now if the widespread acceptance of Appium in the mobile application industry isn't enough to convince you, then the following points might just do the job. Okay, so the first point is that Appium is free and open source. So not only is Appium free of cost, but also open source. This means Appium can be tweaked infinitely to work according to your whims. Secondly, Appium is truly cross platform. Appium can test any mobile application, whether it be a native one, a hybrid one, or even a web app. Whether the app works only on iOS or Android or even both, Appium has you covered. Above that, Appium itself can be installed on Windows, Mac, and an array of Linux distributions. A third point is that there is no need for application source code. Now, automation testing applications till date would require access to application code libraries and the source code. Appium brings something new to the table by completely disregarding this fundamental aspect of automation testing. Our fourth point is applications do not need to be reinstalled on a device. So according to Appium's philosophy, it believes in testing an application without reinstalling it and modifying it in any way. Above that, Appium has some great support for other frameworks and Appium in itself is supported in other frameworks. So Appium as a framework is supported by various automation testing tools out there just to make migration of any project a complete breeze. Above that, Appium has a very lively community. A tool in itself is never sufficient. A budding community is extremely necessary. An active community results in faster bug reports and easier troubleshooting, which is key to the success of an automation testing tool. Okay, so those were some few points that should actually convince you to use Appium over any other tool that is out there in the market today. Now let's go ahead and check out how Appium actually works. So Appium is a simple HTTP server that is written using JavaScript. It follows the generic client server architecture and the Appium server processes requests from the Appium client and forwards them to the simulator, emulator, and real device, where the test scripts are automated. The results of the tests are communicated to the Appium client through the Appium server in the form of a server response. Now, if none of that made sense to you, just hang on. So, this is how exactly Appium works. Now, first of all, we have something called the Appium server. So, this brown thing that you see out here is a representation of the Appium server. Now you might notice that there are a few arrows going in and coming out of the server. So the arrow going into the server is a client request that is sent from an Appium client into the Appium server. And the arrow going out is basically a server response that is sent to the client. Now Appium actually sends requests regarding automation testing 
to the Appium server. Now, the Appium server distinguishes between an iOS request and an Android request, and you can know how by looking at my Appium architecture video. So after the requests have been distinguished, they are sent to their respective architectural components. So out here, an Android request is sent to the UI automator part, and an iOS request is sent to the XUI test APIs. After that, what happens is all these requests are then sent to the real device or an emulator or a simulator, whatever you are testing your app on. Now the test scripts are actually executed there. After the test scripts are executed, whatever is the result is sent back to the server as a server response, which is then ultimately sent back to the app in client in the form of server response and test case logs. Okay, so this is a very general way of how Appium works. Now, just in case you guys are very interested into the working of Appium, you guys can go and check out my Appium architecture video. It's out there live on YouTube and it goes into the various key aspects of Appium and the various key elements of the architecture and you will have a much better and deeper understanding of this tool in itself. Okay, so now let us get into the last part of this video and that is Appium installation. Now there's been a lot of buzz around the installation of Appium. People tend to deem it as a tiresome and convoluted process due to Appium's high dependency issues. To be honest, the process is simple and just needs to be orchestrated properly. So the following are the dependencies needed to install Appium. So the first one is Node.js. Now this comes as no surprise because Appium is a server that is written using JavaScript and it was first of all just a command line interface tool. It has recently become a GUI tool. So Node.js is a very basic requirement for running Appium. You can also install Appium just through Node.js if you just want the command line interface version. But today we are talking about the desktop version. So for the desktop version, you will also be needing Java. Now Java needs to be installed with the latest version that is JDK and JRE needs to be installed on your computer and the path also needs to be set. Above that, you need the client libraries which can be easily found from the Appium website. Now these client libraries basically mean that if you are coding in Java, Python or C, you will need their respective client library so that Appium understands those requests. After that, you also need the Selenium libraries which can be downloaded easily from the Selenium HQ site. Above that, you also need the Appium server, which is easily downloadable from Appium's website, that is appium.io. I'll be linking to all the stuff in the description below. And in the end, you need an IDE. Now, this IDE is mostly Xcode or Android Studio. And in Android Studio, there's a few steps that you need to follow to actually integrate Appium into it. Now, if you want to know about those steps, you should definitely go and check out my Appium installation video where I have given a very step-by-step -step guide as to how you can install Appium on a Mac device and a Windows device. Okay, so you need the IDE and if it's Android Studio, you also need to set the path of Android Home and the Android platform tools. Okay, so these are the six different dependencies that you might be needing when you are installing Appium on your machine. So this brings us to the end of this video today. I hope I could give you guys a very good understanding of Appium. If you guys want to learn more about Appium, check out my other Appium videos. I have an Appium tutorial up there. I have an Appium installation video up there. And I also have an Appium architecture video out there. I also have a video on how you can test an Android app using Appium. So go check out those videos. If you have any doubts regarding this video, please post them down in the comment section below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. I'll meet you guys in the next video. Until next time, goodbye. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!